Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Divinity Original Sin 2 Let's Play. It's a mass servant. Uh, we're gonna continue on where we left off. I can't get in any of these places without keys. I think we need to go somewhere else. This is open. Um, there's a hatch there. This is where we fought that dog, right? Is there still someone in here? Is there still someone in here? Stop doing that. No. So, we fought that dog here. Griefkeeper Ferma. We talked to her, right? Stop. Don't... Store your weapons, I don't want any trouble. I don't know how I got my weapons out. There. Okay. Hi. She hums quietly. Be on your way, that's right. Um mess servant. Mess servant. I don't know. I don't know what else we could do here. Was this always open? Had to have always been open. Oh, there's a lever here. Oh! Can we go down here now? <gasps> Petrified plunderer. Petrified Marauder. Oh, this is who the dog so was talking about. Here. Like the air itself's been petrified. Well, duh, you can see all these petrified people right here. Oh, too heavy. You get it? He's been petrified. Okay, uh, here. Can we clear that off of you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then we can probably clear it off of her too, so let's do this. Well, isn't this rich? Cursed by a coffin and rescued by a tree hugger. The indignity. She huffs in annoyance <laughs> and rolls her eyes. Oh, all this trouble and for nothing. Never figured I'd need frost armor. Frost armor? Ignore her combative tone and ask how she was petrified. Look around and whistle. She must have managed to score some sweet treasure down here. She can't manage a decent thank you? Oh, but do forgive me. Allow me to bow in gratitude. She bows in insincere reverence. Her arm rests on her back, hand mere inches from her staff. Wait to see what happens. She locks her eyes with yours and smiles, then unsheaths her weapon and rises from her bow. Um... Oh, honey, so naive. Anathema's still out there, and I'm not keen on competition if you get more drift. What I a do? A jolt of cursed fire flares from her staff, and you brace yourself for battle. Bring it. Okay. Fine. Right where I want you. I took away all of her armor, practically. Ouch. She's a summoner like we are. So <sighs> they just summon an army. I think maybe focus her. Mm -hmm. Can I get a turn? Like, is that is it possible for me to get a turn? Could I maybe be able to do something real quick? Oh my god, I I hate it. Can I get a turn? <laughs> Am I allowed to do anything at all? I, 
I hate everything about this. Can I get a goddamn turn? Okay. Alright, let's fight her. Let's just get her down as quickly as possible. We might be able to just do it with, with Sabeel alone. If she gets a crit, no. Alright, shoot her. Oh, she's got the magic stuff. Okay. Oh! Anathema. Well, all the skellies are gone then. Okay, well, let's loot this first. And then this. Shadowed tomb key. No key, now to find out. Oh, maybe that's the Surrey key thing. Alright, did we get the. That was unexpected. Did we get the stuff that was in that tomb, by the way? No. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> we did it again. So it said frost armor. Uh, I'm gonna put it on Sabeel. And then Sabeel. It's too heavy. Dang it. Well, if he gets petrified, we have no way to get it off of him. <laughs> so let's try... Set magic... Cures... Cures burned, poison, stunned, frozen, suffocating, petrified. Okay, let's put this on him. And then do it. Take it! Yes! <laughs> okay. We got it. Alright, let's identify this. Lore Master, too low. Oh, level 3 Lore Master. Okay. Well, next level up, we know what Sabeel's gonna get. Alright, so if that- can I take your staff by any chance? I would really like that. Um... I don't know if we should help these burglars or not. Probably not. An amulet and a backpack. Okay, now does this open the tomb? Another human skeleton here. Andres. Um, where is the tomb? Right here. Let's go up here. I should probably save. We should go back and get our source points. But that's okay. Alright, come up here. Let's see if this opens the tomb. Shadow tomb door? It said a shadow tomb key, right? Aha! Oh, look at all these bones. Ew. Yuck. This doesn't look good. All these faces are broken. We're just like climbing on, bro on bones right now. Here's a button. What's this? I found still stuck. There must be another one. Uh, another button. Another button somewhere? Aha! I've spotted something. Ah, oh, success! Alright. Let's go in here. What did we- what are we doing in here? Surrey? Uh, oh my god, we got so many quests. What did we have to do in here? 
Here. Tarquin has asked us to retrieve a powerful artifact for him. He believes that it can be found in the nearby Surrey family crypt. The last member of the family, Johanna, believed that the artifact was a family heirloom. was buried with it. Helping Tarquin now might prove to be beneficial to us later. Okay. And none of these vases I can do in here. Oh, here. This one. Oh, it's shut tight. It's shut tight. Okay. Any... What is all of this? No, the door. Oh no. Oh. What is going on here? What's all this? Okay. Losa, come over here. Actually, Losa, come in here. You three come over here. It's shut tight. What does standing on this have to do with anything? It shut the door. And it's locked. I don't see any buttons or anything. It's shut tight. Hmm. Maybe turn this on. Um. Are there other torches in here? This won't be of any garbage. Garbage. It's broken. Garbage. Okay. Let's uh, hang out in there for a little bit. Get these other torches and candles. Um, let's see. I can't do anything out there. Maybe we don't have what we need quite yet. Wait, there's steam coming out of these. Are we about to die? Um... So there's some sort of gas coming out of these. They don't set on fire. Okay. Losa, well, so come here. You guys come back in here. What if we did... No. Come out here. Because you guys are standing on this stupid thing. What if we... Can I pick this up? Put 
put this on here. What if we went close to one of these? Or put one of these here. I have no idea. I don't know what to do. Um, and I hate to do this, but can we move this? Can we move the torch? No. Okay, I hate to do this, but I, I do want to do whatever's in here to get into this. Oh, it's shut tight. I know. So give me one second. I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go look at a guide and then I'll be right back. Alright, I think I have the answer. And I think whenever we get stuck like this on a puzzle, someone to, to just use spirit vision. Locked fast. Oh, it, maybe it's connect. Oh, it's locked. Maybe it's connected to some other mechanism. Okay. Maybe it's connected to some other so mechanism. So, you come here. You are we about to kill uh, Losa? What did that do? Oh God, Losa, Losa, no, 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 Wait, I lied. Put that here. Get over here. Can you stand on the outside of this? And throw that there? You can't. Shoot. Well, um... Save scum. <laughs> and then we will maybe this one oh, that could have gone better I'll try a different order a different order oh. hey Losa how's it going in there you okay <laughs> okay <laughs> different order huh So we got another vase that we can throw in there. We gotta wait till the fire's done. Um, can you can you put this out? That's not at all what we wanted. That was hail. Can you run the fire out? So the fire won't go out. It's hellfire. Uh, can you step on this? Kinda. As long as you're not running on it. Okay, Losa. Sorry, but... You're not taking consistent fire. Okay, a different order. Maybe this one. How about this? Maybe this one. <laughs> I think a different approach is in order. Uh, what did that do? Okay. There's a ton of water. Maybe this one. Hear that? It did something. Holy fire. Oh, now there's a hatch here. Okay. Oh, God. That was rough. All right. So we're all back together. Let's go in the hatch. Ooh, treasure chests. I'm sure the ghosts won't mind if I keep a souvenir or three. Let's see what this says. We found the Surrey family crypt. We should look inside for Johanna Surrey's tomb. Is there ghosts in here? Do we have to fight these guys? Oh my god. Some piles of gold. Is there anybody in here? Hi! 
Hi, Johanna. Unlike so many other spirits, this one is hardly silent. She clicks and squawks the moment you approach her, like a cornered crow facing down a hungry owl. Are you the new servant, then? A pity. <laughs> Seems the standard is plummeting quickly. You brought my tea, have you? Play along with her and hold out an imaginary cup of tea. The spirit takes the invisible cup from <laughs> you and takes a sip of non-existent liquid. I've tasted better brews, but from the look of you, the refreshments won't be improving. She waits a moment. For what? You expecting a tip? Well, here's one. <laughs> so, use it. Keep your irritation to yourself and bow politely. What's this heirloom of hers you've heard about? That old thing. It was passed to me by my father, Johannius. And my father's father, Johannius. And my father's father's <laughs> father's father, Johannius. Don't know what happened to the one in the middle. <laughs> Don't rightfully know what it's supposed to do. Johannius, the umpteenth, brought it back from Blood Moon Island. I thought it might be good for stirring stew, but the cook gave it back. Said it made her feel funny. Whatever that... What? The spirit stands there smiling, utterly oblivious to her own outburst, leaving you to ponder the strange words she shouted. Mamtenem renekt udin. Tell her you'll bring a better cup of tea if she explains what just happened. What just happened? You mean my display of proper posture and etiquette? The benefits of charm school, I don't expect you'd qualify. I've had enough Hurry of this. Back. The eyebrows still need plucking. <sighs> um, can we? Oh, too heavy. Unusual artifact. You feel the unusual object's Level vast up. energy before your hand even touches its smooth surface. Upon contact, the semi-transparent artifact shivers and speaks. You feel you've heard this language before, but where you cannot remember. And what these intonations mean, you cannot say. Adan, Shvalon Dumorav Narbur Revelis, Awenu Arie, Demchu Sha'an, Saden Menya Vedfen, Domrisval Veid Evrekis. Repeat the words the spirit spoke. Mantemem Mekt Ud Il. The shard responds with another sequence of unusual and ominous words. This language is beyond your comprehension. Ask the item if it speaks your own language. What does it mean to tell you? The object repeats its unintelligible speech. Look more closely at the item. The oblong object is crystal clear and unmarked by marks or chips. It rests snugly in your palm, as if meant to be gripped with a resolute hand. All right, put it in your pack. Okay, we leveled up. So, for you, Losa... Let's do one in intelligence and one in memory. And then here we're going to do... So we got summoning to ten. Do we have anything else that we wanted to do with you? Pyrokinetic. I think we wanted to do that one. Let's do it. Pyrokinetic. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then we get one of these. We want to do Lucky Charm. All right, you for sure. We're gonna do Lore Master, so that we can <coughs> get this. Dang, 54 and 12, huh? We already replaced our legendary. <laughs> Although, look, it, the one we have on gives us one intelligence, two hy <laughs> hydro fist. Maybe we could give this to him. Yeah, how about we give it to him?
There we go. Oh my god. Why does he have all the weirdest hats? Okay. So we got her lore master up. We're also going to get... I, I just want to do dual wielding with her. She just does so much damage. And let's do one in finesse and one in wits. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? We need to get him. Oh, we can't yet. We need a pet pal. When do we get another talent? Okay. Well, you... Let's do... Why is he not bartering? Oh, okay. When we sell stuff, we gotta do it with him. And here, let's do... More warfare. And here we want strength and constitution. And then for you, we want an intelligence... And a memory, so we can get another spell. We would also like another Hydro Fist. And... Persuasion. Okay. There we go. Uh, F5, just in case, because I'm about to loot the heck out of this place. And these statues scare me a little bit. Well, let's get this gold. And this gold. And this gold. <laughs> and this one. And this one. And a plate. And a plate. Ooh. Unidentified boots. And then this over here. I had not identified amulet and a spear. Okay. What are those now that we found? Let's identify this. It's finesse base. So sneaking and movement. Wow. 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 Yes, please. Um, and then... Send this to Ifen. Then we've got this to identify. Finesse warfare in leadership. 64 magic armor. What does finesse do? Finesse is... Finesse based weapons. That's daggers. I mean, it should probably go to her. Let's put it there. Okay. Send this to Ifen. We've got a spear. 76 to 80 damage. Holy crap. Requires finesse 12. Okay. Hear, hear me out. What if we did... We still wouldn't get it. That's fine. You know what? We don't need it. Okay. Alright, so let's go give this back then to Tarquin. Get the heck out of here. So that was cool. Um, I know now to use spirit vision whenever we get stuck. Uh oh, people want to talk. This thing speaks to me, but what is it trying to say? I don't know if I like the sound of it. Maybe we should just go. It has a nice rhythm to it, doesn't it? Kind of like a song. Beautiful language. Sounds like a demon with a swollen tongue. I wonder if what's inside is as pleasant as a demon with a swollen tongue. Wild guess here, but I'll wager this relic will turn out useful for killing somehow. Hmm. Sounds like any other plea for mercy to me. Utter nonsense. So should we give it to Tarquin? Or keep it? Where is Tarquin? Riker's rest. 
See out here? Yeah. This is where he was, so let's go... I, I still want to give it to him. We said we would go get it for him. It said helping him would help us in the long run. Oh. I was going to say Lovely this. day. Perfect weather for it. Ah, you again. Any luck in old lady Surrey's tomb? Show him the object you found. Is this what he wanted? He places his hand on the artifact. And it drones in its strange language. Adan, Shwalon Dumora Vavor Rivelis, Awanu Ari, Demtu Shan. The object continues. Saden Menye Veet Feln, Dom Drisval Veet Evdekais. It's true then. Anathema, within reach. Tell me, is this all there was? There weren't any other curios in there? Assure him that this object pulses with immense power. It must be what he was seeking. Amazing. But not unexpected. He breathes a long, lugubrious sigh. <sighs> it's time I leveled with you. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. A sword capable of annihilating mm. anyone. Even a divine. Imagine it. Holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. A sword of life and death, miracle and sin. A sword of atonement. I can restore Anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. Tell Tarquin about your experience in the Surrey tomb. Hmm. Isle of Vaults, yada yada yada, priest Surrey, and so on and so forth. Wow. And it even revealed an exact location. <laughs> I'll mark it on your map. An exorcised demon living in a sword of glass. The hilt was brought here by one of the many Surreys. Not surprised. None of them sound too bright. I can't imagine having even half a demonic sword around was very healthy for that feeble-minded family. They probably wince whenever a black cat came around. Tell him you'll look for the remaining piece. Well, you may not always have the smarts, <laughs> but you've sure got the spirit. Blood Moon Island awaits, my friend. It's a bit of a jaunt, but this gives me time to prepare my workspace. We'll catch up in the Lady Vengeance, yes? Okay. Tarquin doesn't wait for an answer. His attentions are already turned elsewhere. So that does it for that, for now. Because Blood Moon Island, I think, is the last place we go. So. Um, where should we go from here? We could... Man, I really wish we knew. If we could get through this, g this gate... Maybe once we do Riker's quest, we can get through this gate and help her. Um, I don't know if we want to go up there or last sighting of Jahan. Um, let's go. What is this? Well, this is in the in the place, in Stone Garden. Alright. Well, let's go up this way. We'll just explore. Is this a ring of flowers? Like a fairy ring? It's just nothing. Okay. Let's go. Here's a dead traveler. Let's go check that out. I feel uneasy here. Found. Oh. The curtain drops, your highness. Shadow. Oh, he's after. Shadow. Red Prince. Ah. Um, we can't see him anywhere. Okay. 
Okay. Reveal yourself. Show yourself. There he is. Ruptured tendons. Ouch. Alright, that's okay. We'll get him. Um, let's do this. We can't do much because <laughs> we can't see. Can I go right here? And can I do this? Well, let's, there's blood there, so let's put it there. And then encourage everybody. Ouch. Are there two of them? There are. Chameleon cloak. <laughs> he slapped my totem. Alright. Turn around and hit you. And again. I sense something nearby. Yep. I have no doubt you do. Oh, uh, there's three of them. There's another one up there. And we're still okay with health. Backstab this guy. We should be able to get this one down at least. There we go. Four of them. <laughs> Why are they attacking Sibyl? Because she killed them? Six AP to get up there, huh? What if we did this? Locked by physical armor. Let's teleport this guy. Oh, we just dropped him in the same spot. Dang it. <laughs> Shoot. I didn't mean to. That was a misclick. Uh, just end your turn. Losa, let's get this up here. <laughs> and shoot this guy. Then you can attack. Ouch. That's fine. Turn around and hit this guy then. Taunt. Nice. Vacuum aura. Good God. <laughs> okay. Um. What happens if I hit you? You should probably heal Losa or Sabil next time it's his turn. Go kill this guy. He's almost dead. Um. Okay, that one's down. We need to heal Losa. And let's do Bloodsucker. 
on you. And your turn. It's fine. Not enough AP. Mosquito swarm. <laughs> and your turn. Oh, there's one here. That's fine. Throwing dagger? Nope. You can get up here for two. Adrenaline on yourself. And then just finish him off. Good. Oh, that was everyone. No match for a prince of the house of war, of course. I can't loot this guy because he was in some weird spot. Oh. Guess not. What'd you get out of that? <laughs> Where's all my loot? Here. Uh, where's all the corpses? I guess nothing. Alright, um... Red Prince. The Red Prince was waylaid by House of Shadow Assassins. Once more they tried, once more they failed to slay the Prince. Alright. Well, save. Ambushed again and nothing to loot. Where are we even? What's all this here? Garrus Family Farm. Maybe we should make our way up that way. Dang dogs shaking themselves back behind here. Let's loot in here. Gold. Is that a puppers? Rex the stray dog. Is it the same dog? I spotted something. What'd the shaggy spot? dog keeps his distance, wary eyes sizing you up as his hackles rise. You run away! Everyone here run away! All run! All run! Something! Tell the little dog that you're a runaway too. I knew! All runaways round here. I run away from bad man. Aww. Very bad man. Man wanted to make me spider food. Spider- I, I can sniff good and bad. Riker bad. Ask about this Riker. He sounds like someone to steer clear of. Bad man. So bad. I liked his house. Big garden of stones. Lots and lots of bones to dig. Good, tasty bones. But when I sniffed him, how he is for true, I ran and ran and ran. Do you smell good or bad? He pours a few tentative steps closer and sniffs all around you, nose wrinkling with concentration. Smell not like dog, like wolf. But not bad like Riker. Good wolf. He bounds forwards and licks your face if For disease? His breath stinks of graveyard clay and ancient bones. <laughs> Immediately, you feel an allergic reaction developing on your cheek. Hot red blotches <laughs> spreading in an angry rash. The dog scurries away to sniff about the area. Cured by fortify, bless, or first aid. Well, we're gonna bless ourselves. There we go. Uh, what do we spot up here? Losa. Lisa was over here saying she spotted something. What'd she spot? Unusual skeleton. The skeleton is old enough for flies to have eaten its flesh, though some of its owner's clothing still remains intact, including a belt with a gleaming buckle. Examine the skeleton. The bones look properly intact, though its skull is askew, as if the skeleton is looking in a direction it shouldn't be able to. Examine the belt. The belt may have been gnawed by rodents and reptiles, but the name engraved on its buckle is unmistakable. Victor. Examine the area around the skeleton. You see no blood or signs of struggle. The surrounding vegetation is green and healthy. Well, here's one corpse that never got a proper burial. Victor. Which way is he looking? It's just the bottom of him. <laughs> like, okay. Um, which way do we want to go? Up. Up here to Garrus family house. Go 
can we get across this? Saving. Uh oh. What's that? What's that noise? Oh my god. What's that noise? Looks like this place has seen better days. Much better supply days. kit. Gareth. Hey Gareth. Gareth toils in monotony. Not just the mounds of dirt. What's going on? Gareth freezes, then turns slowly towards you. His breaths are steady, his voice a monotone. I'm digging my murdered parents' graves. I'd Aww. ask that you show your respect. Gareth moves to continue his task, but his cadence falters. He pauses, silence hangs, begging to be broken. Apologize, you had no idea. No, of course you didn't. What? God woken. I've seen Seeker's blood seeping into the sand. I waded through corpses on the deck of the Lady Vengeance. But when the lifeless eyes looking back at you are your own mother's, I just didn't know. I didn't know what darkness lied beyond pain. Now, well, now I do. Reach out to comfort him. Gareth shies away from him. His eyes pass over the half-filled graves and he takes a, a shuddering breath. <laughs> We're trying to help you. Comfort! Even Lucian has none to spare. I've prayed to him, an endless litany. How many tears do I have to shed? How much must I lose for him to listen? No comfort, only recompense. Against Dallas's cronies, against the abomination that carry out their commands. The monks do the dirty work, and the whites keep their robes clean. Convenient! The monks that, that did it. They're still in the house, spreading their rancid smell. Paladins came to clean up the mess. In the name of Lucian, they say, and they seem to believe it. Gareth forcefully exhales and looks past you to the nearby house. You fear he might snap the shovel's handle in two. Say that Lucian might be gone, but you are still here for him, the hero, the Seekers too. Tell him that his rage is understandable, but he needs to get control of himself. Um, this one. I've got no use for empty platitudes. Not for some possessed prankster chosen as the seven special... What the heck? Pet. We were friends. You swear you hear Gareth's pulse, galloping faster than a saddled mount. You've never heard such a thing before, but you suspect Gareth's heart is close to tearing. If you want to help, then you find the craven white that ordered their slaughter. Anyone that stands between you and truth. No matter the flag they fly or creed they follow, make them bleed. Channel Lucian's words, a fool acts on rage, the wise call him their fury. He must not act on his impulses. Do we want to do the memory or the, this one? Let's try memory. Oh, yes. His clenched jaw tightens further, and then, in an instant, Gareth's guard is broken. Tears well in his eyes. With every blink, a pearl of grief falls to his cheeks. My parents, they did nothing to deserve this. They were good, honest, more honest than me. I'd give my own life to bring them back. I never, I never got that last chance to tell them I loved them. I never got to say goodbye. You're right. There's nothing more to be done here. Lucian, forgive me. And please, God Woken, please forgive me too. Aww. We convinced Gareth to abandon his quest for revenge. What is that noise? Sounds like... Is this a source river? Hmm. Treat them wanna... like pets. Get yourself together, man. Jonathan's gloves. Let's 
lucky find. Yeah. Um, are they better than the gloves she has on? Yeah, a <laughs> ton, ton better. There you go. All right, let's get up here. What are you guys doing? Pal Paladin Jod. The two paladins Gareth mentioned are arguing in front of the door to the modest farmstead. As they notice your arrival, they stop talking and look at you quizzically. Ask them what's going on here. We're guarding this house. Wise to stay well back. There's a bunch of silent monks inside who've tasted blood today. Already killed in there, so they did. They didn't kill anybody. The magisters who controlled them did. You know Donna, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Not until they turned Oh, it's her. one that they know? But they did turn her. And now she's not Donna anymore. Get it through your head. The poor creature should be put down. No, wait! Surely, maybe, maybe someday they can be fixed. When all this source nonsense is over. The other paladin rolls his eyes and shakes his head as he turns to face you. In any event, it's our business, not yours. You just stay well away from the door and you'll be perfectly safe. Tell them not to worry, you'll take care of the silent monks. You can't do that. These, they were people who were loved. It's not right to butcher them like cattle. Tell them of the silent monks you've met on your travels. Putting them down is a merciful act. Ah, dang it. Back off, lady. Can't you see he's upset enough about Donna without all this? But... Back off. But... The two paladins Gareth mentioned are arguing in front of the door. We're God! And believe me, you don't um, want to go in there. There's a bunch of silent monks. I don't stay out of... Okay, how about you? The two paladins Gareth met. We're God! And believe me, you don't Drinks. want... Okay. I don't stay out of our business. <laughs> I know. We're I, done. I can't. That's Donna in there. Okay. Uh, well, we've got that. Um It isn't anybody. It's a monster, pure and simple. All of them are. Should we go down here to the black pits, maybe? Alright, let's go over here. Get this mushroom. And this. And then let's go over here. What is this? A dead magister. This magister didn't die by a sword anyway. Something's afoot here. What what happened? Venom winged. There's Void Woken over there. Well, let's go try it. Let's go kill these Void Woken. Hmm. We're gonna help these Magisters. Oh my god, sick- level 13. Your enemies are more powerful than you. Consider fleeing and returning when you have more experience. Oh. Man. But they're almost dead. Let's try it. almost dead. Um, can we do lift you and just like drop you right here? And let's just do end your turn. You Iphen, can you do this? Oh man, we hit incarnate. Okay, end your turn. And Sabeel. Let's see. 
Here's zero. Can we do this? Adrenaline. I hit it again. Do this. I hit it even again. There we go. If you would do hit the magister and not us, <laughs> I would appreciate that. Good. Okay. I think we can handle this fight. Ouch. Alright, you just hit this guy. And again. Okay. Sabeel, can you throw... No. What if you went here for zero? And throwing knives at this? Your turn. What if we do another one of these? And then, could we get up here? And can you get up here? And do... Yeah? Ah, uh, we don't want to pull him yet though. Let's do this. Is it gonna hit our friend? No. He's chilled. Okay. Ifen. If you could get up here. So we're prepared to go after this guy next. And then encourage everybody. Careful. Ouch! I didn't do too bad. Okay, the incarnate. Not enough AP, not enough AP. What if the incarnate. How much is this? Two? So we can only spend two. So if we go right here and do Blood Swarm on you. Good. Sabeel? Just end your turn. Good, 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 good. And now we can fight this last guy. Uh, let's do this here. And then one, two, three. What the heck? What, what was that? Um, and then... No one's really dying. I'll do this. So that she doesn't take the poison. Buff you. Okay, and end your turn. And you... Uh... Hit ya. And fortify yourself. This is almost dead. Ow. nice okay we did it <laughs> all right let's get down here 
Actually, we gotta talk to each other. Oh my god, the incarnate. Alright, let's talk to each other. The stench of dead void woken assails you. The thought occurs, sorcerers caused this. I almost did something just as bad right before they brought me in. Can't blame the Divine Order for trying to solve the problem, even if handling it like a bunch of loony apes in a jewelry store. <laughs> nothing's all good. Sure as nothing's all bad. Can't throw the whole world in Fort Joy. Source may have caused this, but only Source can set it right. The Magisters are blind to its light. Source is like life, a twin of death. The sooner the Magisters accept this, the better. Uh, buddy, are you gonna be okay? You're poisoned. Alright, let's loot. Get this dead man's loot. Are you guys okay? Can... are we all... Let's talk to you. Bloody shambles, this. My thanks for your help. He Welcome. takes a pull from a water canteen, then splashes some over his blood-stained hands. Say that he's welcome and ask if that's his blood. No, it ain't mine. A source of a fugitive was hiding here. Some of the locals were stupid enough to help him. We got a tip off, but he wasn't willing to go quietly. <sighs> These void woken appeared thanks to him. It was messy. A lot of the locals didn't make it, and those that did, well, there's a price for helping sorcerers. Mute that his sorcerers weren't being hounded in the first place, then none of this might have happened. Yeah. Any trace of gratitude for your help against the Void Woken drains away in an instant. Sorry, but... Take my advice and don't say another word, hear me? Sorcerers brought this plague down on us. Them and the sort of folk who see fit to help them. They'll all get what they deserve. You can join them if you like. Otherwise, you can shut your trap. Ask what he means by get what they deserve. What the hell do you think it means? He pats the pommel of his sword, his hand still tinted with dried blood. Little doubt whom it belongs to anymore. Yeah, good just choice. leave him alone. Now make another good choice and don't let me see you around here again. Okay. Is there any other... Where's the other things that we killed? This. This. Aw, oh, dead sorcerer. And this. Hi, um, Red Prince and Iphen, do you want to come with us? There we go. Alright. Let's quickly look in the house and then we'll go ahead and end the episode after that. Dead woman. Flight of the Phoenix. Um. Are there any paintings I can take? <laughs> no. The desk. All right. Well sucks, but we couldn't help the... What is this? Another guy here. Dead Magister. Dead Void Woken. Dead Magister. Villages. Some slain by Void Woken. Others, perhaps not. Yeah. Dead Local. Let's get this. Okay. Black pits. Alright, well, we're at the black pits. Oh, rip cow. Um, I think we will go ahead and head in there next time. So, guys, this is going to be where we end. Thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Divinity Original Sin 2 Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.